water is very muddy and uh, so we've been waiting on a good time of the dive team from Oconee County, South Carolina. These are crews on Lake Hartwell still trying to find some facts about a truck that went off a bridge into the water in Stevens County, Georgia last night. Now here's a look at a map to give you a better idea of where we're talking about right now. We're going to show you that shortly. It's right on the South Carolina Georgia line. The sheriff tells us that one body was recovered, but it's unclear if there are more victims. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford has been live at the state line. She's been there most of the day today trying to find out more information. Nicole, what do we know now? Gordon, well, this area has actually seen a lot of rain. So we do know that Lake Hartwell is nearly two feet above full pool. That creates strong currents in darker, muddier waters. That's one of the, several of the problems the divers ran into today as they worked to find out more information about that truck that went off the bridge. But here's what we know from the Stevens County Sheriff. He tells us that they got a 911 call last night about a pickup truck that drove off the broken bridge from the Georgia side. And witnesses told them they heard splashing but saw no one. This was all just before midnight on New Year's Eve. Now, a few hours later, about 1.30 in the morning, the coroner says they pulled a body that was found floating down from the bridge but have not been able to confirm that person's identity. With the truck 35 feet below the water today, it was not clear who it belonged to and if there were any more victims. Initial thoughts of the, the families of these people or the person, um, the loss they're starting out the new year with. Um, we're losing people to, to car accidents and different events all the time and you know it's, it's bad to start a new year with with a death in the family Now, if you take a look at some of this video from just 30 minutes ago, they actually were able to get that truck up with flotation devices and pull it off to a boat ramp. That's where they are, just a little further back from where we are standing right now. But the coroner did tell me earlier that they took the body that was recovered from the water to Atlanta for an autopsy. We'll continue to work to get you more information and bring it to you as it becomes available. We're live in Stevens County, Georgia tonight. Nicole Ford, 7 News. Thanks, Nicole. A lot of new details unfolding.